Guys, today we are going to arrange another winter battle. This time we've taken together the cheapest sleds and we are going to test them in various conditions. Though their constructions are quite various, all they have priced about $1500. Get comfortable, my friends, we are to start right now. Hi guys, as usual it's me, just a voiceover and you are watching Review Machines. You know, we have so much snow this season, so we decided to take advantage of it and arrange one more winter battle, cause previous one was highly appreciated and thank you very much for that. If you've seen our previous battle, you may remember, that time we had all kinds of winter transport, sleds, motor dogs and 2x2 motorcycles. This time we take only the cheapest sleds, or other winter vehicles with seat for a driver. We try to find machines with the lowest price on the market. All of them cost about $1500, and I think it's quite affordable price for a new machine. Well, today we are going to find out what we have for such a price, a real winter transport or just a toy. Let's go! Firstly, let's have a look at our competitors. Snowmobile Dingo by Airbus Motors, Motordog BTS front seat, Compact Snowmobile Tourist, Mini Sled Husky, Mini Snowmobile Armada and Leader Sigma Motordog front seat. Now let's look at some technical details of each machine. First of all Dingo Snowmobile that's produced by Airbus Motors factory. By the way, it's the most expensive model today, it costs about $2000. But it's worth saying, it has a lot of options. 4-stroke engine 150cc, 9 HP, the total weight is 154 kilos, carrying capacity is also 150 kilos, disc brakes, transmission with reverse, nice dashboard, electric starter, 12 volt socket and wait for it, adjustable handles heater. Compact Snowmobile Taurus has a dismantable construction, and when it is dismantled, you can fit it into a trunk of a regular crossover. It costs slightly more than a thousand dollars. The weight is 80 kilos, and carrying capacity is 100 kilos. The engine 170 cc, 6 HP, with manual stutter. It has simple suspension and quite spacious trunk. Mini sled Leader Sigma is one of the cheapest today, its price is slightly less than a thousand. It has a compact sectional construction with a Chinese Lifan engine 8 HP. The width of the track is 500 mm, it's the biggest in the class. Metal hood, disc brakes and headlights, that's all the main features of the machine. Chinese Snowmobile Armada 150. It has 150cc 4-stroke engine 13 HP, the weight of the machine is 130 kilos and carrying capacity is 100 kilos. By the way, it is allegedly the fastest sled, its maximum speed is about 45 km per hour, well, we'll see it in practice. Mini Sled Husky It's the cheapest model today, its price is only $800. It has compact and detachable design, the weight is 80 kilos, carrying capacity is 120 kilos. We have here 4-stroke engine 6 HP, it can be fitted into a trunk and it takes very little space for storing. BTS Motor Dog with front seat attachment, it costs $1200. One of the most powerful machines today. It has Chinese Lifan engine 15 HP. The weight is 150 kilos. The width of the track is 500 mm. Electric starter. By the way, you may see in this video other kinds of winter machines, 
course it was very interesting for us to test as many vehicles as possible. But first of all, we are going to test the machines with the classic snowmobile design. Well, that were all the machines taking part in the video. And now let's speak in a word about the tests. Firstly, we will have a drag racing to choose the fastest machine. Then we'll have a steep ascent and the section with the deepest snow and rough terrain. But it's worth saying, you shouldn't take our results as the only and absolute true. There are numerous factors, for example, rider skills cut much ice. So the purpose of our video is not to find the best and worst machine. It just want to show you as many details as we can in the real severe conditions. And now it's time for drag race. Unfortunately, when our riders were preparing for race, we had some problems with Armada sled, so we decided to begin without it. Yes, it's quite funny, because Armada is allegedly the fastest machine today. Well, let's start. All the competitors are standing in the line and waiting for the signal. 3, 2, 1, go! Firstly, we see that Dingo has some problems on the start, but then it moves quite rapidly and catches up with the others. The first race was won by BTS Motordog. No great surprise, cause it has most powerful engine. The second place was taken by Dingo. Then Motordog Burak, Sigma and Taurus, the slowest machines. Now let's do one more start to find out if our results are reasonable. All the machines seem to be ready. So let's go. And now we see approximately the same results. The same performance as in the first touch. So we have two obvious leaders, Dingo and BTS. This time Dingo managed to take the first place. The second is BTS, the third is Burak, then Sigma and Tourist with Husky the last. Well, we have every reason to say that Dingo and BTS are the fastest machines, but they are the most expensive at the same time. Also, we should mention Motor Dog Burak that showed a good speed, but generally it doesn't take part in our competition. Sigma showed an average speed and Tourist and Husky are the slowest machine. Their speed is about 25 km per hour. Now it's high time for hill climbing and that is the hill. Dingo goes the first. No problem at all. Then Tauris tries. Well, not so good. Let's change our rider for lighter one. Then goes Sigma. Well, it's almost there. Let's try with lighter rider. Then we try the motor dog burger. 
but we learned in previous battle that such design is not very effective for hill climbing. Now Husky is trying. Then BTS is going. As to Armada, this time it goes quite well. Well, we are moving on. We found the place where there was the deepest snow. It's loose without crust, the most difficult conditions for the machines. BTS goes quite well. Sigma the same, our comes to this section without difficulties. Husky also gets it over. And Dingo shows the same result. Frankly speaking, the snow is not so deep to make problems for the sleds. Now we will try these machines on rough terrain with the same deep snow. The conditions might be slightly different for each machine, but anyway, it's interesting to see its performance. BTS seems to be quite effective here. And Burak also does quite well. As to the Sigma, it has some problems here. It slightly gets stuck in snow. Tourist goes well enough, but it keeps previous tracks in snow. That is always easier. Dingo makes some mistakes in maneuvers, and finally it stops at the result. Husky shows us a decent ride. It goes in Vigian Snow, where it is slightly gets stuck, but in general it's rather effective. And finally Burak also cuts his way in Vigian Snow, and to my mind it goes rather well, despite few problems. Well, my friends, I hope you liked our tests in this video. In general, all the machines have been decent today, despite quite affordable prices. Though it's hard to state which machine is the best and which is the worst. But I hope we've shown today numerous details, pros and cons, that will help you to make a right choice. As always, it's very interesting to read your feedbacks, so please leave your comments. Thanks for watching, guys. Consider subscribing the channel if you like this video. Stay with us, it will be many more interesting materials here. Goodbye.